Hi, my name is Rhiannon Stiles and I identify as a transgender female. I've used online dating apps to meet people. Uh, that's where I met my current boyfriend. In the past I did use apps like Tinder and I had positive and negative experiences by doing that. I mean on Tinder I was always open about the fact I was transgender and I also discovered that like you do have to write I'm a male to female pre-op transgendered female because otherwise if you just put transgender that's such an umbrella term that that can be quite confusing for somebody that doesn't understand the ins and outs of transgender and the process that I'm actually going through. I mean, there is always that fear that somebody you really like is going to run away and be like, no, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not excited by this, I'm not into this. And that was my experience sometimes too. But you can't let those experiences get you down because like I say, like everyone has that regardless of being male or female or trans, you know, like someone can always like somebody and them not like them back. That happened to me when I was Ryan too. And sometimes I would get messages that were negative, that talked about genitalia, that was really unnecessary. And what do you do? I mean, you have to sort of like take that on the chin because, you know, they're not worth it. If that's, if, that's the, if that's how somebody's engaging with you from the outset as a result of you being honest and open about who you are, then they're not worth it. That's what I discovered. I had some experiences where we talked about me being transgender and I went for a date and the guy was like, I don't believe that you're transgender. And I was like, well, we've talked about this. And then he was like, I thought you were joking. And I'm like, you thought I was joking? Why would I be joking? So that date didn't go any further either. What used to give me a lot of fear was if you were in a situation in a bar, for example, when somebody would approach you and start talking to you and then potentially start putting their hands on your body, as people do. And then it's like, at what point do you say, I need to tell you that I'm transgender and that, well, how quickly would you go into the fact that you have certain genitalia or certain genitalia you don't? But ultimately, like, if sex is where it's heading and that person wants to have sex with you thinking that you're a certain sex and obviously you need to address that which i think was really interesting in the recent bbc2 sitcom boy meets girl where on the very first date the character the trans character admitted to being transgender and for me that's how i've always played it i think it was much more it, it, it it's much more important to to get that out of the way sooner rather than later because it relieves a whole lot of stress and tension that I would be kind of embodying. And also it brings it out into the open. And if a person is not going to be interested in you because of that, then that's that, you know, that's that. And, the, and you have to kind of, you have to kind of accept that and be willing to let that go because ultimately like, you will find somebody that is essentially interested in who you are. And I did. Mm -hmm.